It's been three days since Boston mobster and convicted killer James Whitey Bulger was found murdered in his West Virginia prison cell. 22 News reporter Hector Molina is live in Springfield after speaking with someone who investigated Bulger for years. That's right. I spoke with retired Massachusetts State Police Colonel Thomas Foley, who said he wasn't surprised when he heard about Bulger's death. When you're out there living that lifestyle, then you always got to be afraid that, you know, that might come around and uh, bite you at some point. And that's exactly what happened to Boston mobster James Whitey Bulger. Bulger, who was found dead at a federal prison in West Virginia this week, the victim of a homicide. Bulger became one of the nation's most wanted fugitives after disappearing from Boston in 1994. He was captured in California in 2010. 22 News spoke with the man who led the Bulger investigation, retired Massachusetts State Police Colonel Thomas Foley. It's got to be probably the most... Uh... Uh, the, the most difficult investigation certainly that I know that anybody's done on, on the state police in recent years um, because of its complication and the politics and everything that was going on during those days. Foley said his troopers had many interactions with Freddie Gius, the convicted mafia hitman originally from West Springfield, who's one of the suspects in Whitey Bulger's murder. Gius is serving a life sentence at Hazleton Penitentiary for the 2003 murder of Springfield mob boss Al Bruno. There wasn't surprise in their guide that he would do something like that to Bulger. I think the surprise a lot of us had that are in the business were, were surprised that he was actually placed in general population and had access uh, to Bulger in such, such a short period of time. And according to court documents, Bulger is the third inmate to die at USP Hazleton over the past six months. The FBI has declined to comment on the investigation. Reporting live in Springfield this evening, Hector Molina, 22 News.